make UC Davis a household name. Gary May has ambitious goals as the new chancellor of UC Davis, the seventh in the school's history. May comes from Georgia Tech, where he was the dean of engineering. Well, we'd like to grow the research enterprise if we can. I think we will announce very shortly that we had a record year in research expenditures, which is a positive sign. More money for research and more communication with students, two of the top goals for a new head of school, who takes over from embattled chancellor Linda Katehi. Her administration was embroiled in controversy dating back to 2011, when students were pepper sprayed by university police, and more recently when Katehi was forced to resign following concerns about ethical violations. But she's still on campus making $318,000 to teach a class on engineering. Is she overcompensated or is that a fair compensation for what she'll be doing? In my experience as a prior experience as a dean of engineering, I think that with her uh, stature uh, as a member of the National Academy of Engineering and with her record as a scholar, her uh, compensation is put completely consistent with those uh, with that stature and I'm very comfortable with that. Most of the students on campus haven't met the new chancellor yet. After all, today is just his first day on the job, but they certainly have plenty of ideas for what they'd like him to accomplish. I guess that if there are protests and things that they would be handled um, better, like it'd be, there'd be more open communication. Listening to students, a common theme on campus today. There's a large separation between the campus and administration. And I think maybe those walls should be taken down a little bit. I don't know if you could accomplish this, but more diversity with the students and of course more resources for um, students of different ethnicities and especially uh, women. Plenty of challenges for a new chancellor who says his door is always open. At UC Davis, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.